even in excessive heat, horses and carriage rides remain a popular tourist attraction in Savannah. But with such high temperatures, some animal rights advocates worry tour companies are putting horses at risk. News 3's Alex Bozargian takes a closer look at the law. Well, city ordinances say that horse and carriage tours must stop when the temperature reaches 95 degrees or the heat index is at 110. Now, the city uses the National Weather Service, which records temperatures on Hunter Army Airfield, located almost nine miles away. Thank you. Horse and carriage rides drive tourism in the hostess city, but with record-breaking heat, some ask at what cost? Horses should not be used as commodities. Animals are um, living beings and they deserve to have um, a life free from enslavement and um, uh, use. If the temperature reaches 90 degrees, the city requires horses get at least a 15 minute break. Guides must also take the horse's temperature regularly and hose them down after tours. For what I've observed, um, our horse companies take, you know, this is their investment. They take very good care of them. So obviously, um, they're not going to put them in a situation where they can endanger their investment. But animal activist Ruth Arnone isn't so sure, and she's asking citizens to pay attention. Get involved. The, the, the thing we need most is volunteers. We need people out on the street that can um, keep an eye out that these animals are being um, treated according to the ordinance. The ordinance requires tour guides to use a heat index provided by the National Weather Service, which records temperatures on Hunter Army Airfield. Temperatures on different sides of town vary. Um, so we use the National Weather Service, um, which is probably the most accurate generally for an area. And as we all know, the heat downtown is much hotter. Um, the asphalt can be 30 or 40 degrees hotter, and um, Hunter um, is a more of an open area. Animal rights groups will meet with city leaders on June 4th to talk about amending some of those ordinances. We'll continue to bring them to the table and continue mm -hmm. to listen to them, uh, continue to take suggestions, and uh, we'll move forth as we deem appropriate. On June 8th, Arnone is inviting citizens to come out for the second time this year and protest horse and carriage rides. She's advocating for an all-out ban. Reporting in Savannah, Alex Bozargian, WSAV News 3.